All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is episode three of the Fantastic Review. If you don't know already, or if you are new to the channel, this is a series that I dedicated to a late friend of mine. She was one of the biggest supporters I had. Awesome friend. Uh, she passed away earlier this year. And I did promise that we would continue doing the Fantastic Review in, in her honor. So, and it's actually really perfect because this week we're going to be reviewing You Season 4, Part 1 and 2. Spoilers, by the way. But it's actually very bittersweet for me because I actually introduced Fran to the show. Uh, we did an episode about one of the seasons before and Fran was like, oh, you know, I'm going to check it out based on your recommendation. And Fran ended up loving the show like she fucking loved the show. So it's unfortunate that she didn't get to make it to see part one and part two. But nonetheless, she'll be watching this review wherever she's at in the afterlife and uh i hope you like it friend and the people at home we're gonna get into the we're gonna get into the meat and veg of this show unfortunately i said meat and veg but yeah um a couple of podcast episodes ago i don't know if you guys are familiar with the drew cast but we talked about the first part of you season four i kind of wanted to brush up on it a little bit justin um for people who maybe miss that part of our podcast so yes um i actually agree with you that if you take part two out okay and you just stick with part one it's not really i mean if you don't already like if you haven't seen part two i could see why you say like hey this show fell off it's boring I didn't really like it. It's like really different, but that's because they're setting you up for the big fucking payoff in part two, mm -hmm. which completely, in my opinion, makes up for my feelings that I had for part one. And I know you shared similar feelings for the part one of season four. It was just like it, 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 it Joe wasn't really the bad guy, right? Like it was like a murder mystery. He was wondering who was killing all these rich people and it was interfering with him trying to be a regular person. And he was a professor and he was meeting all these like, you know, rich people who were basically spoiled, spoiled rich kids. They were just basically spoiled rich kids. And they were, you know, some of these kids were getting killed off one by one. So part one was basically a murder mystery, almost like I said this in the podcast episode, but it, it like glass onion and knives out and you had to figure out who was the killer, right? Which is kind of, and I know no one's going to believe me, so I'm just going to come out and say it, but I think it was by episode two or episode three of part one. I, you know, I was watching it with a, you know, a friend of mine and we had said, bro, I was, I, I, I said, Hey, look. I think Joe's going to be the bad guy. I think Joe's going to end up being the one that's responsible for everything. That's just the gut feeling I have. They kind of talked me out of it. They talked me out of my, you know, my initial theory. So then I said, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That doesn't make sense. Cause how could Joe be in this place at this time? And yada, yada, yada. So my second theory ended up, I ended up saying it was Reese. I was like, Hey, it's probably that blonde author guy. You know, where has he been at through all this? And then, yeah, so part one ends with them revealing that it's him, right? So I remember thinking like, damn, yes, I got it right, you know? But no, I was dead fucking wrong, bro. It wasn't Reese. It was Joe. The whole time it was Joe. And when you figure that out in part two, and the lead up to all that, amazing, bro. Good work, dude. That was crazy, bro. I'm sitting there watching it. And I'm like, yeah, I can't wait for Justin to watch this shit because I know he's going to fuck with it, dude. You know, and there was so many things that, like, I didn't catch my first watch, right? Like, you know, Kate. Kate, for instance, her character, he, she didn't really like her father, right? She ends up basically becoming him at the end of the series. She basically becomes her dad. You know, Joe, I didn't think, obviously, I didn't think Joe was really going to kill himself. So when he jumps off the bridge at the end, I didn't really think. I was, was hoping he did. I thought it would have been a good way to end the series, to be honest. With him killing himself? Do you think that's how this series should end is with Joe? Like, that's how because love says that. And, you know, when she comes back for that scene where she's sitting down and like she can like all his past like girlfriend slash people he's killed kind of confront him. You know, she says like the only way this ends is by and she like hands him the gun. So I was kind of and thinking like, OK, they're insinuating that he just this is how this ends. He has to die this way. Right. Clearly, that's not how it ends. You know, he wakes up in the hospital Kate's in there. And Kate, bro, 
let's be real, man. She's bad, dude. She's a bad character. And and when I say bad, I mean like she's evil, bro. She's she is evil. Her heart, yeah. Yeah. She and I when she admits to killing those kids, you know, giving those kids cancer and how she was basically saying she has no empathy and like she doesn't feel sad for it and that's what she had to do. You can already tell what they're setting up for. So I mean that kind of freaked me out. I was like, okay, damn, bro. Like, why does Joe always end up with well not always, but love and Kate were kind of low key psychos, bro. Like he always finds like he always attracts to those type of women though. So I thought that was kind of funny. You know, and uh her dad, I don't know what his name is, bro, but the girl who plays the guy who plays Kate's dad, I've seen him in shows before in movies before. So I recognize his I recognize that actor and I was like, Oh yeah, I recognize him, bro. That's a good that's a good choice. Like when they go to dinner and he says Joe. I was like, whoa, bro. He knows his name, dog. Whoa, bro. And when she goes to the bathroom, he's like, just killing Joe, dude. I was like, damn, dog. Which, when you find out... one, So one of the biggest twists that comes from part two is you find out that Reese wasn't actually doing any of this. Reese didn't know Joe. Reese wasn't out here, like, kidnapping uh, Marianne, Mar Marianne or Marianne? I think it's N. Marianne? Not Anne. N, like E, -N -N -E. Marianne? Yeah, Marianne. Yeah, yeah. Marianne. It's like, it sounds like Marianne, but it's Marianne. Yeah. I, I, that's, at least that's how he Marianne? says it. Marianne? Marianne? That's how, that's how I think he says yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, so Related. Reese. Yeah, so Reese. Like, Reese wasn't out here, like, responsible for any of the killings or kidnapping Marianne. He wasn't, like, responsible for any of that. You find that out when, like, Joe tries to, like, tie him up and get an answer out of him. And he's like, who, who are you? You know, it's like, what? And I thought when he said that, I was like, you're playing games, bro. What do you mean? Who are you? And then you find out that, like, yeah, this guy didn't know. And, like, Joe's going crazy. And I'm like, bro. The, the, okay, so there's there's a window of time where, because I know when they, sh when they flash back. And they show you Joe doing these things. Like, uh -huh. like, oh, it wasn't Reese. It was Joe. Look. And it shows Joe killing that dude from the party. Yeah. Then it shows Joe, um, you know, just committing the crimes. Like, he kills the art dude and then, like, goes back to his seat and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't get how he killed that, like, the the fatter friend at the oh uh, J uh, jenna or yeah Gemma. It, yeah i don't understand how he did that and like didn't know like he just snapped into reese for two minutes and then snapped back out yeah there was, was like, so there was some and then another one the is at the end of that episode when he chases the i don't know what the dude's name is it's that light-skinned dude mm-hmm he chases him into the uh to the forest and that guy is trying to hunt Joe down with a gun and everything like that and then Joe ends up beating him up. Reese knocks them knocks him out. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Up, and they end up locked up in that dungeon. So if Reese didn't have any involvement in this, who the fuck knocks Joe out? Yeah, you're right, dude. So there was a couple of plot holes connected to the whole Reese, they Joe. could say like, oh, maybe it was a metaphor for Reese taking over, mm -hmm. but that uh, I don't know. That doesn't make any. That doesn't make I, much I sense to me. Totally, I'd agree with that part. Um, and like he he just handcuffs himself. Yeah, and like and he then, didn't know he handcuffed him. Yeah, that, yeah, it just like he, he did. I mean, he did hit his head pretty hard when he was uh locking Marianne up. You know, mm -hmm. though he did hit his head like, but that was actually startling to see. Like when he like slams his head, he goes, "I'm not." joe yeah i was like oh but you are bro oh yeah <laughs> like <laughs> i was trying to rhyme with that but yeah i know that's uh and i'm actually i never really would i never thought i would say this but like bro like i'm actually glad he did nadia dirty bro yeah me too like not only was she an annoying ass fucking character and like honestly take away the fact that she had like this weird feeling right but she basically breaks into his home Multiple times. Multiple times before she knew anything. So you're, you're already committing a crime. You're breaking into his home. You're going through his stuff. You're stealing his stuff. And then she's like, all off a feeling? That's insane. That's what, I, to me, that's why I'm glad Joe did her dirty, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that her boyfriend got killed too. Because, you know, from his point of view, he shouldn't have gotten involved with her. 
Like the second that bitch tells you like, hey, I broke into Professor Moore. I broke into his home, his flat. I stole his key. I stole it. I stole, right, I stole, <laughs> I stole his key. Professor Moore, I stole it. Like when the second she starts saying that shit, the guy said, hey, bye. Bye, Nadia. Not doing this to buy, but bye, Nadia. I'm not doing it. And he got killed because he went to pussy. So uh, we're not going to pretend that's not what it is, bro. He went to pussy. He's a white male in London. Brown, brown, kind of brown, good looking girl. I get it, bro. I get it. You know what I mean? What sugar creates, sugar creates good stuff. And you know what I mean? So he wanted his milk to be extra tasty, bro. But at, at the end of the day, you got killed for running pussy. I don't really know what it was about her either. But yeah, she was just hella fucking annoying. Stow. I stole. I went into his flat. I stole. See? And I brought him so glad, bro. I was hoping that Joe was going to, like, catch her downstairs next to his little uh -huh. cage thing. And then just get her whacked. And she's in the cage next. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, that would have been fucking fire, bro. You know, another thing that I kind of didn't really understand when I first, when I very first saw it was, so I kind of, I kind of wanted Marianne to die, bro. You know when she like kills herself and you think she killed herself a day? That's how that should have ended. She shouldn't have lived, bro. You know how sad that would have been? Like that would have been one of Joe's biggest, like, like the big one of the worst things he did. Yeah. Like that literally solidified. You took her away from her kid. She was doing fine. She was clean. You had her locked in there, and because of what you did, and you couldn't remember locking her down there, she loses her kid. She loses everything. And she kills herself. I mean, that would have been fucked up, bro. The fact that they had her live only makes me believe more that she'll be the person that takes him down in next season or this or the season or two after that. Yeah. Right. That's the only thing that makes sense because why, why keep her alive? And you, and you know, for season five or season six, bro, that they're going to have a scene where Nadia, Jenna Ortega's character, Mary. I think it's going to be five. I, I think the next season will be the last, or at least it should be. Cause yeah. I think they should have ended it at four. Yeah, I mean, I hope season five's the end, but you already know they're going to have an Avengers type scene where like Nadia, Marianne, fucking Jenna Ortega's character, all of them are going to be standing above Joe like this. And Joe's going to be like looking up at them. And, you know, it's going to be like the haha, we got you motherfucker moment. Watch, bro. Watch the cringe. Is that how you guys want the show to end? Honestly, Dustin, if you want the show to end, I think Joe should have killed himself. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. him killing himself. The show shouldn't end with Marianne and fucking... Nadia and Jenna Ortega's character standing over him like this is it bro that after all the wrong you've done to women and, you know like standing about like, he's on the ground trapped and it's gonna show flashback scenes on how the girls outsmarted him you know we went into his flat again we stole it watch they're gonna do like scenes showing you the lead up to how they outsmarted Joe come on this guy's a fucking genius bro and this is how it ends I mean I guess I wouldn't mind I mean isn't that what they're leading up towards though they're literally leading us towards a finale where the girls are standing above him, bro, like this. They're standing above... Like, I guarantee you, bro, if that doesn't happen, I will come on this pod, this show and eat fucking crow. I'll eat crow, dude. I will fucking apologize, bro, but that's how it's ending. You guys seen Avengers Endgame, right? Where, like, all the female Avengers, like, they just had then one shot, like... Stop, Thanos. Like, yeah, if I'm Thanos, get out of here, bro. Sorry. It's like, but that's, I think I've known that how this is going to end since the end of season three, since the end of season three, I kind of always figured that what, that this was going to happen, that all the girls are going to stand above Joe and like, it's going to be like a montage of how they outsmarted him and, you know, throw his mom in there too, bro. Why you at it? Why you at it? Throw his mom and his fucking half brother in there, dude. Throw, throw him in there. We had to stop you, Joe. I, I get <laughs> But yeah, no, guys, uh, comment below. Have you seen you season four, part one or two or all of it? If you haven't, I recommend checking it out. I mean, you just listened to a spoiler review of it. So, you know, you know what I mean? But I mean, my biggest complaint was part one, but that's because it, you don't watch part two. You will understand the payoff, which the payoff is very, very good. In my opinion, I, I was very satisfied. Justin's right. Season five should be the last season because season four should have been the last season. But hey. Whatever, dude. More Joe Goldberg. You know what I mean? We get more Joe. Now, this time around, he has unlimited resources. He's probably going to be more psycho than ever. And that's actually very interesting if you think about it. An unlimited resource Joe. Bro, and he's back in New York, dog. He's like 6'9", bro. 
he's back in New York after what he did, bro. Who's touching Joe, dog? You know what I mean? Hey, it's 10 a.m. What a fuck y'all. <laughs> no, it's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. What a fuck y'all at, bro? But yeah, um, anything else you want to touch on before you? Or would you rate it? I uh, rate it. Yeah, rating. Okay, part one. I would say six out of ten, and that's and I think that's fair. I think fair. Part two, I would say edit eight out of ten. Overall, the sh- this but both parts together, I give this. I give the season. I would say a seven point five out of ten. You know, and actually, I would say it's better than. In my opinion, it's probably better than season one. You think so? Yeah. Well, I still love season three a lot. I love, I love, cool, love, bro. She love is my girl, bro. You know what I mean? Like when she made a comeback, and like as like you know the the ghost vision and season four, like I was like, bro. I they know how much go, they love love too, dude. I think I would rate it two, three, one, four, four with four being the worst one. But I didn't think four was that bad of a season. I just think there's too many. Too many, like, attempts at, like, complex writing that they didn't need to do. They didn't need to, like, do, like, half of the, like, plot twist. And, you know, there's a lot of unexplainable shit that they just, like, brushed over. Yeah, that they kind of, like... So... Like, Joe just kills the fucking... One of the most richest, most powerful men in the middle of a... Like, a... A hanger. A hanger. And then he's like, yeah, well... I just wired this money here, you know, put a gun in this guy's hand or a knife in this guy's hand here. And they just, you know, they just bought it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He killed the bodyguard and then there was only one way in and out of that place. And he just dragged the body out. Nobody noticed. Nobody saw him. He just buried a body. Nobody noticed. Nobody saw him. It's Joe, man. He's the Grand Reaper, dude. He fucking just drowns in the middle of a body of water and there just happened to be someone who saw him and the police just like were there and saved his life. Yeah, he was like halfway down too. I remember. I was like, okay, once he started reaching like halfway down, I was like, ah, do what? Joseph. And they made that like stalker fan. They like built that character up like mysteriously for like two or three episodes kind of. Like she was in like like little parts where like she was like taking pictures like trying to mm-hmm. find out who he was. Just for her to be like some, well, she ended up being like what Joe is, like some like yeah, like some. Yeah. But I don't know. It was just yeah. She literally was what Joe is, and she's pretending like her and uh, Phoebe, Miss Phoebe, had a relationship. I actually love the actress who played Phoebe too, bro. The guy who the guy who played her boyfriend, bro. When he remember when he got pissed on, bro. That was fucking crazy when like Joe walks into that little thing and that guy's fucking getting peed on. Yeah, and like holy shit. They they kind of just like build arcs for like no reason it seems like like that that boyfriend and girlfriend situation like they have this whole arc that you think is going to mean something and then he just dies. She just goes to the hospital and then she gets out and she's some uh African language teacher or whatever the fuck. I think she was like an Asian country, I think, or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. But Ends up being a teacher in like a foreign country. But like, yeah. yeah, so like they didn't really mean anything at the end. Like what their arc was. Yeah, I thought they were going to have Joe kill uh, Phoebe's boyfriend. I thought that's that's what, that's how that was going to end, but it yeah. didn't. So, but it was, I think four is the worst series season of the series, but it's not a bad series. I'd probably give it like a, like a, like a high six. Yeah, I, w- I the only reason I said season one is because I just I I love part two of season. Yeah, four. I think season one yeah. is just like a like a nostalgic mm-hmm. for me. But yeah, let us know what you guys think below in the comments. If you guys want to see more fantastic reviews, let us know. Let us know what we can review. You know, I'm down to review anything that's fun, that's exciting, that you guys want to see. Yeah, um, I kind of suck at spoiler reviews, I think, but I still love doing them because it gives good conversation and good entertainment for you guys and you know the people who interested so yeah until next time peace